This story starts one year ago, when a company called Andrew Fleming Designs reached out to me and offered to build out my van. What he didn't know is it would start a whole new division for him, Happy Camper Kits. And I'm pretty proud to say, mine was the very first van. Hey, Grizzy. Who's that, buddy? Who's that? Oh, you're a good boy. You were missing it. You were missing out on the action, eh? Yeah, you just wanted to see what's going on in your bed? Yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy. What's up you guys? We are at Happy Camper Kits here in Ontario and if you haven't met Andy, if you haven't seen that playlist of videos, you guys gotta go watch that. Andy's back there getting things ready to go for our... Oh, here he comes! What's up, weirdos? <laughs> anyway guys, we are here for I don't know how many days back to back in a row getting a pretty big project done on my van and I'm super excited for what this guy has been planning. He has spent all morning long this morning designing the underside of my bed. And that little noise back there, that little moving machine is a CNC machine which is doing all the cutting. You guys wait till you see this thing. It has got to be the coolest thing ever. All right, let's go have some fun. And what is going on here? Ladies and gentlemen, this is probably the second most important part of the team here at Happy Camper Kids. This amazing beast, I just about called it a bad boy, but it's not. This is Stella. It's a girl. I don't know how you can tell if it's a girl, but that's just what the name of the machine is. And man, does she ever do good work. She doesn't talk a lot, but she sure makes a lot of noise. And wow, when she gets focused, boy, does she ever get the job done. I like her. It is insane to watch all of this stuff come together. When I was watching him on the computer, he was doing like things with red lines, things with blue lines, and I, I couldn't quite picture it. But now that it's all right here on the table, <laughs> it is so cool. what we threw out. This was the uh, front panel that everybody's going to see and this is the mirror image of it. So when you flip it up, this will go in chrome just underneath the face plate for chrome's bed. So over here will be the stereo that he just got, a little bit of uh, ventilation going around the wheel well. Over here you're going to have the heater and over here is the output for his DJ equipment which is pretty cool. In the back, we've mortised it all out, so it all basically should fit together, theoretically. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, anyway, that's how it works. You're just so wicked. And in the front here, this is my... This is where your door is gonna be. This is your actual door. And that will fit oh. just right in there. <laughs> we'll put a, a, a couple of hinges on the bottom, a latch at the top, Heck yes. This will be all the interior. This will be all the interior. So it kind of makes like a honeycomb shape. So basically, so all the internal structure, when you pick it up, it's actually really light. But the way it is, where, how the weight is transferred from the top to bottom, it actually spreads out with the honeycomb, which is pretty cool. And what we've done is all the way through, I've made some access holes in the back underneath the bed so basically this will fit together much like that maybe I have to loosen it up actually it's pretty tight 
so it'll just fit. And then we screw it from one side to the other. So we all know that everybody is always hyper concerned about, well, doing that much wood in your van is gonna weigh a ton. And they're always worried about fuel consumption and everything else. Well, this is a quick, easy solve for, for that problem because you're still gonna have all the structure. And besides, when you look in the inside of that thing, that thing just looks pretty awesome. But doing stuff like this, because of the guys at Happy Camper Kits, allows me to have such a complex underside of my bed, because it's pretty complex oh, underneath there. God, yeah. Lots of little cubby holes and stuff like that. But doing this allows me to use that much woodwork without having all the and weight. And a lot of ventilation. And a lot of ventilation, because we all know that's important. Because if you were to box off all the little compartments that I have, all those little areas would just get, like any moisture got in it, it would get trapped. By, by doing this, allows anything, fresh air, around yeah, fresh air around everything. It cuts down on any moisture problems you could have and or allows for heat and stuff like that to circulate through the bottom side of your bed area. Yeah. <laughs> I'm super stoked. This stuff is pretty cool. Can I do the honors this time? Yeah, man, hit enter. Just right there? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. Boom. Done. There we go. So right now he is cutting the pull-out drawer section in the back of the van. Well, he's not cutting it. She's cutting it. Is that a girl? Stella. Yeah, Stella. Oh, Stella, good yeah, one. Stella. All right, Stella, let's yeah. do it. That back section there that he's got in his hands, that's gonna be my four foot drawer slide that's gonna be coming out of the back of my van. Mm -hmm. What is that, buddy? It's a new bed. You approve of the new bed? Do you approve? Catch it live on video, but it doesn't fit. Look at that. On the front there, you can still see the Yamaha light that lights up and the porthole. Mm, super stoked. Oh, and there's plenty of room back there, man. And this little panel piece here is going to be the input for my DJ stuff into the new sound system. So all I gotta do is plug my left and rights from my mixing board into there. Bada boom, look at that. Hey. Okay, now this is all starting to make a lot more sense. And this is the door. <laughs> Goes on the front. Oh yeah. Oh, does that ever look sleek? Clean like it like it. Who would think that was all that was in behind it? No one would ever think. No, that. it's crazy. When I was thinking about underbed storage, I was like, okay, I need my space for my subwoofer, a space for the heater, and a space for Cruz's dog food. I wasn't thinking all of this stuff. This has got to be the craziest bed frame mm -hmm, <laughs> that any van has ever had. It is craziness, just the details. And look at this, guys. This came out of that guy's mind. He sat in front of the computer today, and this is what came out of it. This morning. Yes, <laughs> this morning at that. Oh my gosh. So anyway, you guys, I'm gonna run you through what's gonna be happening on here. So the bed platform is actually sitting a lot lower than my other one, making it easier for Cruz to get up in the bed. He's gonna very much be happy with that. And also it's gonna allow me to sit more upright when I'm at my editing desk because that's where I spend like 90% of my time when I'm seating in the van is at my desk. 
but not only do we got what you see here on the front, some airflow to go from the front of my van into the back here. You've got my porthole and the nice little pretty, that's, hi Chris, the little LED light that turns on on my Yamaha subwoofer. So that's the subwoofer, you see it right through there? On the front is gonna be my front access storage with a door. <laughs> this, I'm excited about this. So I have my heater vent and my XLR inputs from my new DJ studio. We're gonna try it from this angle instead. I'm having a hard time trying to like wrap my head around all this stuff. Okay, so we got my subwoofer. Hold on here. Give me a second here. <laughs> so we got my subwoofer, storage. This is my heater chamber, right? Yep. So yeah, my heater will be right here, ducted out the front, and there's lots of airflow all around here. Um, allowing air to get through everywhere. This is my wheel well. See where it's cut here? So the wheel well comes up and over through here. This is gonna be another back storage compartment. And the same thing applies on the other side. That back section is storage. This one is the wheel well. And this is just an additional space behind my subwoofer with an access hole in the back here. So if I ever need to get to anything or get to something, I've got some more space. And he's got a spot like that just over there. I know all you guys are confused. Don't worry, so am I. This is a lot to wrap your head around. So, yeah, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. <laughs> um, these things here will have access from the top. So there'll be a door on here that I can access from underneath my bed. So I can get access to miscellaneous things that are around my wheel well or inside of here. Same thing with here. I can flip my mattress over and get access to this storage bin. And the same on that side. And then back here where we're standing, this ginormous space. Like look how big this space is, guys. Like we're just, you know, it's all good. We're just walking around. This is gonna be a huge four foot pull out drawer. Slash sun deck. <laughs> slash sun deck slash pull out dining table for two. Slash DJ platform. Oh, see, right? So it's gonna have 400 pound slides. So me and whoever, me, I don't have a girl in my life right now, but me, I can sit on it. But imagine that, imagine having this huge drawer pulling out the backside of that thing. I don't know why, but my first thought with that drawer, when I picture the drawer coming out I picture two tall little stools on each side, yep. a nice little thing draped over it, and dinner for two with a bottle of wine right on it at the beach. Yep. Any single girls wanna come over and have dinner with me when this is all done? <laughs> Watch nobody email me. No, <laughs> no, no, no. How embarrassing <laughs> would that be? Oh, girl, <laughs> if nobody emails me to come have dinner with me, will you come have dinner with me outside? Okay, so I had a huge nap and Andy came by and shut the doors. And so while I was sleeping, Andy did the entire platform of my bed. And uh, Stella over there has not that Stella over there has been working away. But look at this. So all these little compartments here, like these little things you see here, those are um, access compartments so I can yeah, read. Out. Right there, so I can pull it open, get access to everything that's underneath it. This will be another one where the continuation goes above. Yeah. Around it. Yeah, just cool. Oh, that's that's wild, man. <laughs> that is. So, the CNC cuts those things. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. I think the point one of an inch would fit, so we got a little bit of slack around it. So that is wild, though. <laughs> this one could fit here. Look at that, eh? 
hear that. <laughs> it's pretty amazing to watch all of this stuff come together. To watch Andy sit in front of the computer and design this whole bed frame, and then just to hit enter and boom, here it is right here, just like I seen on the computer, but with parts that you can actually hold on to. It's pretty amazing this machine, and I love it that Andy can sit here behind the computer and create a home for me, and to make my space just that much better. And now we're going into the paint booth. This is Chris, the other part of Happy Camper Kids. Buddy, Santa <laughs> Cruz, enjoy your little parrot. <laughs> 99, man. Hey, see, guys. You in the, see you in the morning.